Okay, so I'm putting the uh, mile marker locking hubs on the excursion. The original ones that are on here are yeah, stuck. They are not going anywhere. So I got these little babies. Very nice. These things are solid. Let me show you. Okay. Check this out. Look at that. This thing is just a a hockey puck of steel and anger. This is a very serious item. I already put the other side on. Mama's filming, so here we go. So check it out. The uh, part number is 449SS, stainless steel. Um, these are about half the price of the Warns. And um, I had Warns on my um, Bronco. And I gotta tell you, the build quality on these mile markers way way better in my opinion so we're gonna install this real quick pop this little sucker off right here like that set this aside pliers pull this little sucker out right here oh look it's the whole thing even better all right, I'm gonna set that down right there because it's nasty. Now, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. There's a little flange in here. It's like a little cutout. You wanna clean that out really well. Right here. And I like to use my old t-shirts, old work shirts and all kinds of stuff like that to uh, clean parts like this out but I mean actually this thing's in really good shape I did the hubs on this thing probably about I don't know maybe 40,000 miles ago Let me check this out so anyways um, after you clean that out you gonna remove these two more bolts I want to fast forward this. I had to give it a try. Okay, watch the O ring. Very important right here. I'm going to set that down right there again. But look at this. This thing weighs at least a couple of pounds. Solid. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on here. Just a very light film. I'm gonna put a little bit. Oh, listen to Lola, she's talking. And all the teeth, just a, just a light film, light coat. And of course the goats are making all the racket back there too. Now, I put a little bit on there. I'm gonna put a little bit on the teeth inside here as well. Not a lot, just enough to kind of have a surface that's not gonna be all hard to take apart later on if you need to. I need a services or whatever. Now also, I'm gonna put a little bit in this little recess in here. And make sure that's all good right there. Now, this is gonna go in. If you can't make it fit, figure out what needs to happen. I need to line up the teeth a little bit. Now, a little bit of grease on these little inclined planes. Remember that from math back in the day? I'm gonna add a little, after this is in and it's kind of greased up right in there, I'm gonna add the spiral locks. So this goes in here. 
It's a little bit of a pain to put in, but it's not too bad. If you just work at it, you'll be fine. You put the top in and it just kind of slides in place. It takes a little work, but that works just like that. And then it's calling for this other locking ring to go on top of that one. Same thing. Got to make sure it's in that little recess, that little groove in there. And it is. So now I'm going to put the O-ring on. It's in place. You know what? Just for Sierras and golfs. I'm gonna put just a smidge of grease right in here. Just to kind of make sure it seals up. I'm not putting very much, it's just a hair. Okay. All right. Now, there's a little lug right here. If you uh, ignore my torn glove, there's a little lug right there. There's a little recess on the inner hub right in there. You got to line them up like that. Boom. Put that right in there. Get it started. Oh, get away from me. Let's try it this way. Oh, there we go. Okay, it started there. I'm just going to snug it down just a little bit until I get the other ones in. And that's it. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to give it a test. Uh, I'm going to put it in 4x4. Four four and um, whenever you turn and you're in 4x4 four four and your hubs are locked, you should feel the steering wheel just kind of you know, you'll, you'll feel it in the steering wheel. It kind of gives like a little shake, a little feedback from the, from the road. So I'm going to give it a try just to make sure everything's working, but so far so good. Now, one thing, if you put these in, you might have a little issue if, um, if you don't like the way it looks, because this is a much taller unit than this worn. So it's going to look a little, a little goofy, a little wonky. So we're gonna put it on and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So if you're gonna do this, this is something you're gonna have to just kind of deal with. So inside that uh, mile marker box, you get this little doohickey right here. And what this does is because it's kind of hard to get a good grip on this, you put this right in there like that. Lock, unlock, easy peasy. You just grab it, put it away in your vehicle, and you can have it for when you need it. All right, so the big girl is good. I've got the hubs locked on the passenger side and the driver's side. And right now I'm in two wheel drive. I'm gonna put it in four by right here. Give it a second to engage. All right, little four by four lights showing right over here on my dash. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn my wheel almost to lock and you should feel that there's going to be a little resistance okay in this case i do feel it i feel it i can hear it it's showing up on the steering wheel four by four works so there we go